the, the cool thing about this uh, production is that it's being directed by Scott Bellis, who is um, a Studio 58 alumnus, one of mm -hmm. Vancouver's finest actors, mm -hmm. and for a while now, he's been one of the, one of the mainstays of, of Bard on the Beach. And one of the great things about Bard is when you act there for a long enough time, they let you direct. And so Scott's kind of moved into How directing great. Shakespeare through his acting at Bard. Much so, ado about everything then. You bet. Okay, so Julius Caesar Langara, where is it showing? Yeah, uh, Studio 58 Langara opens this weekend. Langara, okay. And Red, have you seen Red? I have seen Red, American uh, prize-winning play about the uh, abstract expressionist mm -hmm. painter Mark mm -hmm. Rothko, who created these great canvases of color. Um, right. It's a very interesting play about art and ideas about art and the artist and uh, Okay, yeah. I want to see it because I collect contemporary art. I'm, I'm yeah. fascinated by a Rothko. And what's really, what's really cool about this production is that they have these reproductions of these giant, so it's about uh, his red period. He's painting these giant mm. 40 by 20 foot canvases just all kind of red. And uh, it was a commission in New York. And right. they have these reproductions of these canvases on stage. And the lighting, and you, you know, you're watching it for an hour or two hours, and you're thinking, like, what is this? And after a while, you go, oh, yeah, I'm kind of getting it. Right. And the lighting on it changes. Sure, because people who are not artists or, or don't appreciate contemporary art, specifically, they'll say, I could do that. Well, yeah, my five-year-old kid could do that. Why it's is a it stripe on a canvas. Dollars? I could yeah. do that. Yeah. And he says, there is only one thing I fear in life, my friend. One day the black will swallow the red. Yes, there are kind of black lines around the floating mm. red. He's a very, he's an Eastern European Jewish immigrant. He's right. got that kind of dark old world kind of mm -hmm. doom uh, inside of him. And he's got this bright young assistant who kind of challenges his notions of art. So it's very intel uh, interesting intellectual uh, exercise. Yes, not for everybody, but... Maybe so. Mm -hmm. Why not? Stretch. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's great theater. You have to stretch. Calendar Girls coming. Calendar Girls opens tonight at the Stanley. It's a stage version of the movie about these women of a certain age in mm -hmm. England who got together to raise money for cancer. Somebody's husband had died of cancer. Yes. She wanted to do something about it, and so they, they decided to take off their clothes and pose discreetly nude. Uh, for a calendar, and it's become like an annual thing now, and they've raised you know hundreds of millions of pounds for cancer research. Right, and it's it makes women feel better about their own skin or the their body image. Absolutely. So you're not all stressed out. You, you see the movie? Yeah, and it's sort of like you can be hot till you drop. <laughs> I don't think you can't. If nobody buys the calendar, well then. They're lost. They're lost. Right. Wendy Knoll, a Wendy, great actor. Yes, She's yes. in it, right? Colleen Winton, some really good. Lots uh, of fits of hysteria, actors. I'm sure. All good. So, uh, what else? Um, Hunchback? Uh, Hunchback opens next week uh, at the Culture Hunchback, oh, at the, uh, sorry, at the Playhouse. So, Hunchback is a show uh, from Catalyst Theater in Calgary that does these really strange theatrical adaptations oh. of classic 19th century stuff. They did a version, of, they did an Edgar Allan Poe thing last year. So is Quasimodo year. in it? I Don't guess, know. and, hasn't and come Notre yet. Dame hasn't come yet, but coming up. So yeah. uh, what have we missed? Well, there's a really, um, uh, a part, as part of the Push Festival, a play called uh, Almighty Voice and His Wife, uh, Daniel David Moses, who's a First Nations playwright from Ontario. Mm -hmm. This is a, a play about a true story, early 19th century, a Cree in Saskatchewan stole a cow, the Mounties went after him, there was a gunfight, a couple of Mounties were killed, he was killed. Um, so this play, the first act is about the a sort of serious historical telling of his story, and it's his wife, who's named uh, uh, who's named White Girl. White Girl. White Girl. Um, <laughs> the well, second act. I'm assuming she's white. The second. Well, she's not. The second <laughs> I act. See. Uh, Almighty Voice and his wife um, perform a uh, minstrel show version of the story. So you get a really interesting perspective from a different kind of racial. Um, uh, tradition, right? A racist tradition uh, yes. on this on this very contentious mm. event. Mm. So theatrically, it's a brilliant play. I've read it many times. It's never played in Vancouver, as far as I know. So I'm really looking forward and to it. And it's called opens, it's called Almighty uh, Voice, Almighty Voice, Almighty and Voice. his wife. And it opens tonight at the Waterfront Theater and runs only through this weekend. Oh. So last week of push, 
and a number of shows are opening this week as part of the Push Festival, but they only run four so or five days. I need days. to see that, and I need to go to Super Bowl parties. I don't know <laughs> what to do. Let's see. Uh, Art Super Bowl. Tempting Art Providence. Super Bowl. Tempting Providence, mm -hmm. another really cool play from Newfoundland. This one was here as part of one of the previous Push Festivals back in 2006. Uh, it's written by Robert Chafe, a playwright we've never heard of out here, but everybody knows back east. Directed by Gillian Kiley, one of Canada's best directors. A very simple story about an, an, an English nurse who comes to Newfoundland, comes to Labrador right. in uh, the 1920s, and she's like the only nurse for a thousand square miles, and she has to you know walk 50 miles through eight-foot-high snowdrifts to, uh, you know, to deliver babies. And yes, like and that. like we did to get to school, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a story about, uh, a, you know, a kind of um, sort of can-do Canadian story, somebody who overcomes obstacles. Okay. A very simple story, but it's done brilliantly theatrically. I Great. saw it back in 2006. Highly recommended. That's at the Gateway in Richmond. Gateway in Richmond. Intimate apparel, Granville Island stage. Opens next week. Another turn-of-the-century story, Black Seamstress in uh, a Garment District in New York, turn-of-the-century. Oh, nice to see you. Fanny? As always. Lovely. As always, uh, Jerry Wasserman, he's a professor, an actor, and a theater critic.